Hello fellow YouTubers, this is my tobacco collection as of right now the second, as right now. Um, today is December 12th of 2012. Is that right? 2013. 12, 12, or 13. Uh, this is the tobaccos I have cellared. Well, not really cellared, but in my collection. A few of them are unopened. Uh, some of them are gone, or one of them is gone specifically. You might be able to see it from this picture, um, but I'm going to show it to you. Starting off with some Mylan blends. I got Buddy's Blend. Now these are one ounce each. An ounce of Centenary. An ounce of Doctor's Orders. Well, not no longer. I've been smoking that one. There was an ounce of Colonial Pastime, but that is completely gone. There's a little bit left there, maybe for a tiny little bowl or something. But that was a really good blend. That was my favorite blend of all time. Um, this one is... You gotta warm up to this one, Doctor's Orders. That's a blend you gotta warm up to. Um, next one is another Mylan. Another ounce of... It is Presidential. And then... Got another Mylan blend, honey smoke, butterberry. Um, I'm not gonna do that yet, even though you guys probably, hey, yeah, you can see the logo there. You've seen these two on my unboxing or my unbagging or whatever. All right, this is McClellan's 5100 red cake, two ounces. I have smoked a little bit of this. It is pretty dang good, but I think it's starting to dry out, so I need to try to smoke it again. Uh, two ounces of Pirate Cake. Pirate Cake is a Latakia blend, or Latakia, however you guys want to say it, which is very smoky, which is not really for me, but I'm going to give it a go again just in case. Drop my tobacco. Excuse me for a minute. Okay. Alright. Uh, I guess I'll do the bulks. Four ounces of Dead Man's Chest. It's supposed to be a vanilla blend. I'm going to finish up um, Doctor's Orders before I open any of the bulks. Again, you know, I'm going to finish up this one and then the part, the McClellan's 200 Red Cake, since it's starting to dry out and I kind of enjoyed that. I showed you that one. Next one. Everyone is fighting over. I don't know if they're fighting over it, but let me get, let some of the air out of the bag real quick. A lot of air in there. I don't want to dry it out. All right. Eight ounces of Wences Loss. It kind of smells like a cake, like a sweet um, birthday cake with that icing. You know, you get that smell. It smells like that. It smells very good. I guess that, I'm guessing that is the Virginia in the tobacco. Next is Matt Barron's Vanilla Cream. Now I will open these to show you how far I am on these tins, except for the ones that are open. I'll try to open it on camera here. This one I am almost gone. Now you notice I took the little thing outside, uh, the piece of paper. Like this one has a piece of paper. A little coffee type filter on the outside. This one, was there was so little in there, there was a bunch in the bottom of the paper. So I just took that out. So that's what I got left of that one. Not very much. It's starting to dry out too. I need to smoke that too. I'm glad I opened these blends. Glad I'm doing this on camera. So, this was my favorite blend until I got to a um, until I got to a house blend. Then this became my favorite. But before, this was my favorite. Mac Barron's uh, Burley London, which you guys kind of seen, but I'll open it again anyway. I haven't smoked very much of this because it's not really my thing right now. So if any guys like it, let me know. Contact me. Send me a PM, please. And uh, tell me what you do, how you pack the bowl. Maybe it's a certain way of packing it. Maybe it's a certain pipe I'm using that's not doing the job. You know, maybe I need to try it in a corn cob. You know, never know. But I haven't had this one in a while, which I'll try it again too. I'll try to get most of this on camera, but 
there are times when it's dark outside it's dark outside so the camera's really not going to pick up much um, of what I do at all dark time I'm going to step to the other side of the camera here and yeah, that's not going to work let me move to this side this is hearth and home my first hearth and home blend old kinder hook smells very sweet I think it's a um, it says this blend is a fragrant and sweet mixture of burley virginia and toasted black cavendish with a uh, with a great cherry flavor and aroma I don't know about the cherry flavor but it does smell very very sweet it smells sweeter than the than the Winces loss and that was Dead Man's chest right there. Boontar, um, I'm actually going to put a link to his channel in the description below. Um, but he, he took one of these type of tins. And when it was empty, it's got this bottom. That you can put a, a corn cob knocker on the bottom. Buy some of them and you can have a ashtray for your pipe on the road. Now you're not beating your pipe against uh, something hard and not good. So you don't break your bowl or whatever. Which that was a good idea, Brother Boontar, if you're watching my video. So I'll put the link to your channel, if Brother Boontar, if you're watching in the description. And for everybody else, you guys can go click it down there. Next one is Mac Burns, um Honey and Chocolate. This one is still a brand new sealed tin. I have not opened it, so I am not going to open it yet. I probably should have put a date on it when I bought it, but that's okay. Mmm, Drew Estate's. I got Drew Estate Meat Pie, unopened tin, and Drew Estate Grand Central, unopened tin as well. I really can't wait to try these blends. I have, I have so much about them. I just have so many blends open and bulk blends. I haven't bought any um, mason jars yet, but I'm probably going to have to. In order to keep my tobacco moist and from drying out, um, I guess I'll do David off royalty. This one is a open blend. I, I open blend. I have opened this tin. I haven't had this one in a while, so I just have to experiment with all of them again, just to see. This one was okay at some at some at some points of the day. It was great, but other points of the day it was. Eh, okay. So, I think that one's starting to dry out too. Eh, I ain't totally dry out. That's good. It's not mo not too moist, not too dry. It's about the right consistency. So this one was, was an okay blend for me. Again, that was Davidoff Royalty or Davidoff, whatever you want to call it. I think it's Davidoff. Right, next is Orlick. Now I'm gonna tell you guys a story about Orlick, like I. Said in this other blend right there, you probably can read some of it. I, when I started out pipe smoking, I did not like this blend. I tried this blend. I tried um, Five Brothers as well, which I got at the same time. Since Cutler Lever had his video on his 65 year old tobacco, which I'll put a link to his channel in there. Go check him out. Um, oh, get ready. There's a part in the video where he acts as a died or something he just falls over so he's still making videos he's good to go so just give you that little heads up so anyway um, when I started out pipe smoking I did not like Orlick or Five Brothers I just didn't like them they just weren't my blend I actually started out with this blend right here Mac Barron's Vanilla Cream I tried that out it tasted really really good and I went back to these two tobaccos in the same pipe and like them so coming from a cigarette smoker um, I did not like these just that's my personal opinion you don't have to believe it you got your own opinion I don't have to believe your own opinion but free information right so I'll open the tin so you see I think I only smoked two flakes out of this and you got the Orlick man there that's what I got left. 
Oop, fix my tobacco. Here. That's what I have left of my Orlick tin. That's, I got a bunch left of that. I used to have this as a blooper in the back of here. Cutler Lover had a video on that that on that subject. Put this one upside down. All right, we're good now. The label I can't stand when the tins like this, and then the label is upside down like so. But now it's good. All good. And then five brothers. Last but not least, Christmas time. So that's some kind of sound like the Grinch. I don't want to be Grinch. But just washed it the other day. So. It's kind of dried out. It's kind of. It's basically yeah. It's pretty much dried out. Now this is a, considered a drugstore blend. You guys can hang, kind of hear that crunching all where my microphone is on my camera, but but it's kind of starting to. But it's not too dry to smoke yet. So I'm actually getting some tobaccos from someone. I, I can't remember his uh, YouTube name. I'm supposed to get three tobaccos that are all dried out, and I'm gonna try experimenting with um, with rehydrating tobacco. So we'll see how that goes. Um, might as well throw it in here. I do have a. That's the uh, pretty much the end for the tobacco um, portion of this video. I do have a something else I want to show you. That's right there on that paper. I'm excited about, but I'm going to show something else first. I do have a couple cigars. Well, I had a couple cigars. I have one now. I have one now, and then I smoked the other one. So I got them both from Mylan Tobacconist. Nope, that's what we call it. Mylan. One of them was La Dueña Bellicoso, number two. Now, I did my first pipe smoking video, but my camera that I had just didn't do with the crap so I'll post it anyway if you guys want me to just let me know in the comments if you guys want me to post it and there's a band there's 925 for this cigar this next one I don't have a humidor or anything so I mean that was this was literally my first cigar this will be my second cigar I will make a second cigar video first video uh, well this is my second cigar. So I haven't had any really experience with it. GC Signature Series Churchill. Christoph GC Series. Let's see if I can get that to adjust. I can't read it on camera, so you guys might be able to on the full screen, but I'm reading off my little screen. Um, it says Elite Cuban Taste. So it just it says Elite Cuban Taste on the above Kristoff, and this says Signature Series. And I got my little humidity pack in there, so I'm going to try to keep this in there. Try to keep this in a little baggie. Alright, that's that. And that's my little package. Alright, my next thing of approach. See how long I'm going here. Uh, about 14 minutes. If you guys want to keep watching you can obviously you are because um, you hear me talking so this is my tobaccos to try list now you notice there are two columns I do have two pages I keep updating it every day if I see a new blend that I want to try so I'm gonna just show them to you and you guys can pause the video and read them but these are in alphabetical order and then they're in alphabetical more or eh. Alphabetical order again. So like Boswell's, you got A, B, C, it skips to H, M, N, P, and R. So I'm gonna try to read this off really, really quick. Ashton's Gold Rush, Bell's Three Nuns, Big Star Cigar, Center Hill, Cherry Bean, Chicken and Waffles, Delta Mojo, Percy Priest, Savona Cream, Virginia Fog. I want to try the blue balls, which is a blueberry blend. Ooh, wrong paper. According to the lead crayon. Alright, Boswell's apple strudel, berry cobbler, 
Boswell, Boswell's Best, Cherry Smash, Chocolate Cream, Christmas Cookie, Cupcake, which is the new blend, Hunter's Choice, Maple Leaf, Majestic 586, No Bite Delight, Northwoods, Paradise, Peaches and Cream, Pennsylvania Dutch Treat, Piper's Pleasure, Rum River, and the next thing is Buttercream Bliss, CAO, Bella Vanilla, Aline's Dream, Moon Trance. I'll try Capstan, Caramel Rush, Charles Fairmont Bulk, Lancer Slices, Lancer's Slices, excuse me, Coach House, Cornell and Deals, um, Sunday Picnic, Dan's Tobacco, Old Ironside, da Davidoff, Lake Medallion, Devil's Holiday, Drew Estates, Grand Park, Grand, uh, Central Park Stroll, Glided Age Reserve. Now I'm reading this off the lens right now, so you guys can read it with me. You guys can pause it. I think I'm going to quit reading after the first page. Yeah, I'll just pause it and you guys can kind of see what I want to get. Now a couple of these blends are on their way, but I'm not going to tell you which. I will just do an unboxing video and simply highlight the blends on my list. H2. I will just simply mark off the page on my list. Uh, Marvel Cake. You guys read the Hearth and Home. This continues on Hearth and Home on the second page here. So, Marvel Cake, Virginia Spice. Highland Cigar, Lane 1Q, Elio, Mac Barron's, Christmas Cheer 2011, Frog Morton, Cellar on the Bayou. Black Tobacco, Ettenmore, Milan's Christmas Blend, Triple Crown, Mississippi River, Molche Dolce. Oh, man, there's a bunch of them. Pipes and Cigars, Black Obsidian, and Peaches and Cream. I got Pipes and Cigars. I see another Peaches and Cream on here. Oh, that was Boswell's. I wonder if they taste the same. If you guys try both of these blends, let me know. They taste the same. Tell me, or one's a little bit better than the other, just let me know which one to try. Or if you've tried, or uh, if you've tried any of these blends, please comment and say, I've tried this, I like it, or I tried it, I didn't like it. Just, uh, please. I would love all your comments. I read every single one of your comments. I read all the, um, private messages. I try to reply to comments, so a YouTube, you're supposed to talk to people. Or it's, you're, I mean, you're not supposed to talk to people, but it's a community, so you're supposed to communicate. So, alright. I just kind of scrolled up like a movie. Like the movie credits at the end. Bad split beer pipes, bad Santa, bad Santa blend. Alanya, Stainless. Strauss Blue Chip and Kentucky Gentleman. Sutliff. Molto Dulce. I think that's right. Taste of Summer. Turksberry. Hobbit's Weed. Uptown's Blue Ridge. Early Morning Pancake. Alright, so those are the blends that I want to try. Right there. There's a bunch of them. Um, you can go through and add them up. If you want to. If you want to be that suspicious, but. That's my blends left to try. So, that's all. Um, I thank you for watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Um, that's all I have for you. Yep, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, you want to see a little uh, tin I started out stacking my tobaccos in? I got some pipe cleaners in there now, but pipe cleaners, and then you got pipe cleaners. Metal pipe cleaners. This, the flavor of America. Red Man Golden Blend. And actually, there are some blends that are not on my list that are drugstore blends, like the Captain Blacks. My grandfather used to smoke um, Captain Black Gold, I think it was. Which, let me know, let me guys know if you've tried that and if it tastes like any like the blends I have here. So I, uh, I kind of know. Because I have his pipe too. I will do a pipe video, my pipe collection video. So, that's just the old tin. I paid like $2 for it. I do have the lid. 
but I have so much tobacco that I put in here that uh, really doesn't even close. So, anyway, that is all I have for you today. Um, I thank you for watching again. And again, please remember to rate, comment, subscribe. The last two are the big two. Big two to accomplish. And that's all. So, I'm sorry to keep you guys so long. Uh, I'll try to make shorter videos, but I really don't know if I can. So, thanks for watching. And I will see you soon. Take care, guys.